Hello, everybody. Welcome to Carla's Bunny Trail. I'm Carla, your host. Let's see what kind of bunny trail I'd take you down today. Well, sitting here, laying here, sleeping here, I have baby Margo. And baby Margo is the... Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, my mind's gone blank, you guys. Okay, I'm looking right here. Some of my sculpts. Let's see. No, I've got some of my COAs laying right here. Oh, but I can't get to it. So I'm not. I can't remember. I'm going to say, what is she, the Elijah sculpt? Maybe. Oh, goodness. I'm so sorry, you guys. Well, anyway. Okay, her name is Margo. I love that name. I can remember her. Um, a soap. <laughs> We call it soaps, soap opera, that I watched in high school. Um, what is it? Um, General Hospital is what it was called. And one of the girls' names on there was Margot. And I was reminded of that name when um, Yvonne, from Having You On, um, named one of her, named her peaches sculpt Margot, And I thought, oh, oh, I love that name. So yes, yes, everybody, I'm copying Yvonne. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, I hope you don't get upset about that, Yvonne. Um, speaking of uh, copying people, let's do some talking about that, you guys. And while we're doing that, we're going to also do my tag that I want to start for Sundays. And I know last week I said, let's call it bibs, bows, binkies, and bottles. But I got to thinking, why not? I like bibs, bonnets, and bows. I like that better. So let's call it bibs, bonnets, and bows for Sundays. Just an extra one out there for everybody to have a choice from <clears throat> there's quite a few out there so the little outfit i'm gonna put on baby margo here is a cat and jack now this outfit i believe i purchased you guys i don't purchase cat and jack brand new no this is definitely a second what do you call it um pre-loved and it is pink um it's like a romper it has the butterfly ruffles on the shoulders. And if I come closer, you can, can you see the sparkles that are in the material? Very pretty. Now the size is three to six months. It may be a little big on her, but that's okay. Um, I don't like my BB's clothes to fit snug as a bug in a rug. I, I only, I like them to be kind of baggy, you know. So we're going to put that on her, but the bib, you guys, look at this bib. Is it not beautiful? It's white and has these beautiful pink flowers all over it. And then it's got, I'm calling this Rick Rack, you guys, that's running around the outside edge of it. I have no idea what the true, what this is, but it reminds me of the Rick Rack that you can buy. I don't know if it's a type of Rick Rack. I don't know. And then she'll have the matching hair bow to go for her little hair there. Now, this is one of those I got from Tamu, and it's a reversible one, you guys. So check out this on the back side. Isn't that beautiful? And you know what, guys? I'm an embellisher. If you give me an idea, if you give me a basic, like I can see this right here. And this is just a simple bib pattern. And then you just embellish it with stuff like this. I can do that. So that may be something in the future that I start doing is making bibs. So she's going to wear this bib. And then the bonnet that she's going to wear. You guys, I've been a busy, busy bumblebee. And I found this beautiful. Um, it's, it's just the pattern says vintage, a vintage bonnet. And, um, so this is the pattern. It has the fan or shell right here at the edge. Um, the back of it has the sage green and that just happened that way because of the, um, the yarn that I was using changes, changed colors. 
Um, so it just happened to be that the, the back here was the last of the green and it changed to the white. So we're, I'm going to put that bon either this bonnet on her. Well, I would thought about putting this one on her, but now looking at it, I don't think I'm going to. Because this is the one that I've just finished today. And I was making these for more like Valentine's Day bonnets. Um, but the colors are kind of just not quite, I don't think will go with the pink. It'll match the pink of the romper. I just don't really, I don't know. I think it's just too much, too bright. So I'm going to set that aside. And little Margo already has on these white ruffled lacy socks. So I think those will work just fine with her. So let's get to it. And while we get to it, I want to talk about something. I want to know who out there has been copying me. Because I don't stand for it. <laughs> and of course, I hope y'all know that I am way joking on that. I guess in, in our Dolly community, there is, uh, and I'm probably, I don't, I don't know if I'm stirring a hornet's nest up or not, but, um, I guess there is other people out there that are not happy about other people copying them. Well, I would just like to say to everybody out there, I thought the reason we shared the things that we shared in this community was for other people to see and get ideas. You know, I didn't realize that that was their, um, it was just theirs that you couldn't do it. And well, I apologize. <laughs> If I have offended anybody out there um, with anything that I've done, that they think that I'm copying them, I would like to say that um, the people that I watch, they inspire me to do things. Um, they remind me of certain things like, oh, I can do that too, or I've not talked about that. I can talk about that. Oh, I like the way she does her intro, you know? Um, that's being inspired. I love, you know, I watch them. I love the way they do it. To me, that's a, that's a compliment. If somebody sees something that you're doing and they take it to their channel and they do it on their channel, to me, that's a compliment. So by all means, everybody, if there is something that I've done that you really like, feel free. Copy me. <laughs> I don't mind. <laughs> I don't mind one single bit. And so, like I was telling y'all, I remember the name Margot from a soap that I watched as a teenager, you know. But Yvonne's the one that reminded me of that name, so... I guess I'm copying Yvonne, everybody. <laughs> and then uh, somebody else that inspired me is Tamara from uh, Once Upon a Nursery. You guys, I love the way she does her intro to videos. She's so cute and so spunky. I love the way she does it. And so she inspired me to make mine a little bit, my intro a little bit more spunky. Mel Amor, or Mel from Mel, sorry, not Amor, Amori is what I've heard people say, and I called it Mel Amor, so I'm sorry, Mel, about that. Um, she's soothing, so sometimes I like to tone my videos down and, and try to make them a little bit more soothing. She inspired me to be that way, you know? There's lots of people out there, and also Tammy, you know, she also inspires me, you know? She's very crafty. I love watching the things that she does. Um, and even listening to it, she has a very calming voice, you know, I, she inspires me too. There's so many of us out there that are inspired. We all copy. We all do, whether we realize it or not. When we are doing each other's tags, Cheeky Monkey Monday, you know, we are copying. You are doing what eat. Everybody is doing what Kay and Louisa started at our Cherished Cherubs. 
you know, they started this tech and it's for all of us to share. We're all copying the monkeys. You know, we're all doing the monkeys. Maybe the copying part is more about don't copy my doll or don't copy my clothes. Well, you guys, I share where I get my clothes from, you know, if, and you know, a lot of things, guys, girls that are watching, <laughs> I say guys a lot. Um, I really want to put pearls in her little ears. I think that would just be so cute. I want to put pearls, but I need some advice on piercing their ears. I may talk to Tammy. I know she's got some babies that has some pierced ears. So anyway, um, there's lots of people out there that have inspired me, you know, and, and, and how we do things. When I first got started even doing my videos, the basically the only person that I watched was Julie from the Country Cottage because I was just getting started and she's the video I came across. And I, I loved her setups and how she set everything up and how she's so organized. And, and you know, so there's many different people out there that inspire us. Um, I would like to say that uh, Christy from CJ's Little Ducklings, uh, Oh my goodness, that woman inspires me. She is a go-getter, let me tell you. She doesn't let fear stand in her way. If she wants to do something, she tackles it. She goes after it. And so she's not only a collector, she is a reborn artist. She paints, and she's got the paint to do silicone babies as well. You know what I just realized, guy? guys and girls? How am I going to do a bow when she's going to wear a bonnet? Let's just see what we want to do. Do we want to do a bonnet? Uh-oh. Is her head too big for the bonnet? This size, I think, is might have been zero to three. It looks like she's going to have to have a three to six. So, nope, no bonnet for today. But I did come prepared with a bonnet. So, we'll do the pretty bow that matches the bib. Yes. How is that? She does have painted hair. Let me come up a little closer. And show you she has lightly painted hair um and but we're just going to eat sorry guys I had to pause for a minute so we're just gonna go ahead and do a bow but hey I come prepared with a bonnet right and we're gonna put her little binky right back on her outfit she has got a vintage uh, binky that I was purchased for me from um, or, I'm trying to think, did did she come from, I'm sorry if y'all can hear my boys in their, their play wrestling around and fighting and yeah, it never ends well. My husband's in there going, boys, there we go. Isn't she beautiful? Turn her just a little bit this way. You can see her. She's so precious in her bib. Her bonnet that she's not wearing and her beautiful bow. We'll move that down right about there. There she is. Well, and Binky. Yes, Binky. All bees. Well, thank you guys so much. Oh, back to the um the copying. Feel free. I'm okay. You want to copy me? You have at it. <laughs> It's for fun, guys. This is a fun hobby. Why do we got to mess it up with arguing and fighting? Can we all just get along? I mean, my goodness. Why are we going to fight over something so silly? And you know what? No matter what. um, You know... My baby Clementine that I got for Christmas, I saw one of, I had seen, she is the Brooklyn Asleep, eight month asleep sculpt. And I had seen this artist put one out already. And that's what I went by and I showed her and I'm like, can you make one like this? You know, and she said, I can't make one exactly like that, but you know, I can probably make it kind of close because every artist paints you know every time you paint something it's going to be different every single time and so I don't believe that there's too many babies out there that are just exact you know um so I, I see babies all the time that I think are beautiful and I go from you know I know Aunt Caroline 
Um, I love her Guchin. Is that what it's called? The sculpt? Oh my goodness. I love that baby. And I may, that you may see that baby in my nursery here soon. You know, and it's done by a completely different artist. But it's the same sculpt. It's not going to be exact. So I don't see where we can actually really copy each other. We put our own personalities into these babies. We dress them how we think, you know, like it's funny because my, um, my Gabriella that has the grumpy crying face, you know, I love to put things on her that talk about being happy and stuff because she is so not happy. She is ticked a ticked off baby crying, you know, uh, but I love to put things like that on her anyway. Well, that's just a, a quick little, I want, I don't know if you'd call it a rant, a happy rant at that. I'm just saying, you know, we, we all need to relax and enjoy this hobby. I think if we can do that, we can, you know, world peace. <laughs> Isn't that what beauty queens say? World peace. <laughs> Dolly peace in our community. <laughs> love each other. Love one another. God made us all. He made us all individuals. So we're all weird. We all have uh, some quirk about us. Anyway, you guys, that's all I've got to say for today. I just would, I really would like to share with everybody, just um, no matter where you're at in life, what you're going through in life, there's someone that's always there and that's our God. He is there for us. And all we've got to do is call his name. Thank you for listening and being with me this long, everybody. Shalom.